A life without a name was like a dream you never wake up from. I could remember everything, but there is only one thing I always forget, my own name. It is upsetting that I only rely on my driver's license just to recall what's my name. Mizuki Ando, Mizuki Ando, that's my name and I must remember it. I didn't tell my problem to my husband, Takashi Ando, because I don't want him to misinterpret me. When I saw an article, I tried to reach the counseling center. I met a counselor woman in her late 40s. Her name is Tetsuko Sakaki. I honestly told anything about me. I'm actually a child that didn't stand out at all. I grew up in an ordinary family. My father was a serious person and my mom is a bit of nag and delicate. I only have one sister who is older than me and stand out always. My mother went to this Yokohama school and she wanted one of her daughters to go there. And I thought it might be nice to live away from my parents. Is there anything happened to you while you forgot your name? This happened in October night. I was in my room doing my homework when a junior named Yuko Matsunaka came to see me. She was the most popular girl and prettiest girl in our group. Have you ever felt jealous? You never felt love from your family, and you've had an inkling of this, but you've shut this painful reality up in a small dark place deep in your heart and close to leave. You yourself have never been able to deeply, unconditionally love anybody else. And perhaps, you don't truly love your husband, even if you were to have a child. I finally had my name back and could resume a normal life. Things might work out, then again they might not. But at least I had my name now, a name that was mine and mine alone. Yeah.